Hi guys, Kitty here. Uh, I am so sorry for not being able to upload a video until today, but some things have happened and yada yada yada. So again, I apologize. So in our last video, uh, we were talking about um, a ribbed sort of scarf that we were going to do. So, to save time, I've already done a hundred chains. And remember, when you're first starting out, um, well, even, even if you're not, use your stitch marker to make sure that, you know, you're not, <laughs> you're not putting too, too many chains in or stitches in or whatever. Um, so for the hook that I'm using today, just like the other ones I have, let's see if you can see that sort of, maybe, hmm, well, this one here is a seven point, uh, seven millimeter hook. So normally I would start with, uh, a single crochet into the bottom, into the stitch, but where I want to make the ribbed sort of look, I'm going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to start with uh, a double crochet. So remember when I said, make sure that you don't use the one that is right on uh, your actual hook, that is not what uh, that is not considered a loop and we are going to the very first one we're not going to put anything into that we are going to go into the second one right here so you see I have I put uh, the yarn over oh wait sorry okay so I put a yarn over I'm going to go into that second one that I told you about Second one, uh, second loop from. Shoot, sorry, just one sec. Ah, oops. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So, no, nope, sorry. Okay, so into the second one. You see that there's three there so far. Yarn over. You're going to pull it through the very first one. So you have three back on your uh, hook again yarn over put it pull it through the first two whoops ah, there we go yes there we go and yarn over pull it through yay see <laughs> so again yarn over insert your hook through the chain yarn over again See, you have three, yarn over, pull it through the first two, so you have two more left. Then you put it, uh, put the yarn over and pull it through the last two. So, again, okay, so I'm going to pause the video for right now and I will meet you at the very end and at the end is going to be different than what I have showed you before in my previous videos so I will be back okay guys so we are at the very last two so I'm just going to do these up with uh, the final two double crochets then I'm going to show you exactly what we are going to be doing for the second row. <clears throat> okay, so I'm finished that. So I'm going to chain one, turn our work. Uh, so in the back of, let's see if you can see that. Uh, in the back of this one 
we're just going to put it through actually no 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 we're not going to put it through the back sorry we're just going to put it through both you can see that we're going to put it through both and we single crochet so the next few ones are actually going to be different because we're not going to be going through any of these ones right here so to do this one we put it under that set of stitches grab sorry grab the yarn pull it through and there's that one okay so again make another one put the the hook in through the back grab the yarn pull it through and there we go okay. insert the hook through the back of that stitch grab the yarn pull it through so you have two uh, loops on your hook grab the yarn again and pull it through so as you can see on the back see how it's like starting it's pushing uh, the the stitches forward or back I should say so it's creating like a rib so I'm going to do the next few Again. And, and just remember we are doing just a single crochet in these ones. So it still looks like a double crochet here, but you can see the difference when you turn it over. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to finish up the rest and I'll beat you at the end. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, so we are at the very last, uh, well, the very last two. So for the very, very last one, seeing as we can't really uh, put it through anything. Oh, I think I completely messed that up, didn't I? Wait, what did I do here? Oh, there it is. So we're just going to do single crochet here and normally what I would do is um, I would uh, sorry I would chain one but we are actually going to be changing the color so Make sure you give yourself a little bit so you're able to weave uh, the end. So you're just gonna, oh, that's horrible. Nah, stupid scissors. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that through a bit and kind of just like make a knot. So we're going to take the other color that we're going to be using and I'm actually going to put it in through here. If I can actually get it, <laughs> just one sec. Let's try. Oh, whoops, whoops. I didn't want that much. Okay. So you just want to tie it, which I'm doing right now. I like to do it twice because I'm paranoid like that. See, new color. So this one... Now normally what I would do, and it depends, you can weave it through by, while you're, um, uh, weave it through while you're doing
doing the stitches or you can wait until the very end and use the the tapestry needle in order to weave to weave it through okay so that those are the ends and I'm just going to pull it through and uh, actually I'm going to do it one more time okay so there we go turn the work now when you are starting to do the double crochets with this one and I think I messed oh I didn't mess that up oops oops I went on the did I go on the completely wrong side hopefully not okay so anyways what you're going to be doing here you're going to make sure you do not go in through any of these I mean if you want to experiment and do that go for it <laughs> if not well <laughs> okay so again for the other one that we just did we're going to go through both of them can you see that there's two there okay there we go let me try that again <laughs> gonna go through both yarn over oh yeah the very first one is a single crochet forgot to say that Okay, so now we are going to start with uh, double crochet and you're just going to go through both of them you're not going to go through the back I mean you can if you want but I'm not going to for this one and remember double crochet I know I just mentioned this again but Sorry, dog hair. Dog hair everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pause the video and I will meet you at the end of this row. Keep you right back. Okay guys, so we are at getting to the end of this last row. So one more double crochet. And the last one is going to be single crochet and it's going to go through both and chain one turn your work and we're just going to go through the very first one here through the back again by the way now we're going to start with uh, what we did down here. So go through, grab a hold of the yarn. Oh, wait, what not? Okay, just one sec. Okay. So put it through, grab the yarn, pull it through. So you have two loops on. Grab the yarn again and pull through both. Again. Hopefully you can see this a little bit better than probably with the other colored yarn. So, see again, just like with uh, this one, you can see the rib starting to form. Um, I'm going to finish up this one. Uh, I'm going to pause the video, finish up this one, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am getting uh, at the end of this row. And unfortunately, I am going to have to cut this video off sooner rather than later because I don't have very much uh, space on my phone. I know, horrible. Uh, 
So I'm going to just finish up this row uh, and continue with showing you what we are going to do. Like I know I just started, okay so for this one, see how that kind of looks like crap. Uh, excuse my language. Uh, it doesn't look great. So just going to continue on with how we did it. And the very last one, just going to go through and do a single crochet. And there you have that row and these two colors. So I'm not going to start another row uh, on camera. So I'm just just reinforcing this. When you start a new row, you chain one, turn your work, and for this particular pattern, I am using just a single crochet and a double crochet. And just the double crochet is just regular, no real, uh, no trick to it. The only thing different that you'd have to do is when you do, uh, when you're starting your single crochet, you put it in through the first one, uh, sorry, at the beginning and at the end, and you, when you do the single crochet and you're wanting to do the rib look, you put your hook through the back, you bring it out, you grab the yarn, you pull it through until you have to make sure you have two loops on your hook, then you do it like that. Um, again, I apologize for cutting the video short. Yeah. Maybe at some point in time. Sorry for the pause there, guys. Um, the washer was kind of <laughs> was uh, kind of acting up on the spin cycle so we'll have to go and fix that real quick. Um, so for the very next video what I am thinking of doing is starting a hat. It is going to be a single colored hat. Uh, debating on whether or not I'm going to do gonna make pom-poms. If you do want to see the pom-poms please um, comment down below and we can definitely go ahead and do that. Uh, so before I forget and I end the video, uh, for me, this is for a two year old um, and I'm gonna just do two more rows with these two colors. And yeah, I think, I think that's it. <laughs> Okay, so I wish you guys have a brilliant day, and I will see you guys maybe in a couple days, considering I haven't, uh, I didn't up upload back on Saturday. Again, I apologize. But anyways, bye!